Here we have the entrance to Talpa de Allende. Hola todos. Hola todos. Gypsy Dean here Gypsy at Talpa de Allende. A very special place here in Jalisco. Behind me you can see the magnificent church, a place of pilgrimages. Okay, well, Gypsy Dean shows you more of the place and less of my face, unlike the other YouTubers. Okay, bienvenidos a Talpa de Allende. The town plaza is where all of the tourism happens. It's always kind of a festival atmosphere. Large plaza. Well, it looks like I arrived right when a group of local musicians decided to take a break. <laughs> you notice everyone's in the shade. It's quite warm. Here's the kiosk. Okay, well, the main attraction in Topa de Ende is the church. Nuestro Señora del Rosario is the name of this beautiful church. Okay, we're going to go inside and take a look after we get our temperature checked in our usual squirt of hand cleaner. All right, here we are. You'll notice most of the Benches have been taped off, limiting only two people to a bench. Okay, Tapa de Allende is one of the most pilgrimage sites in Mexico. People walk for miles around to see this tiny statue that you will see behind the uh, statue of Jesus, La Señora de Rosario, has claimed that she has worked miracles for people. All right, here I am looking at the church dome with the camera and the beautiful ceilings. There is another picture of the Señora de Rosario. You'll see a lot of people walk into the church the whole way up the aisle on their knees. There's the pulpit. Okay, after that brief tour of the church, I always like to go up into the kiosco now and make a 360 video of the plazas. You'll see another tower. That's a chapel nearby. We will visit that also. It's said three to five million pilgr pilgrims visit Talpa de Allende every year, especially Easter week. I wouldn't go there on a bet that week. People walk the route, and there's vendors along the route selling food and drinks to the pilgrims. None of the fountains are working because there's a water shortage in Mexico. It hasn't rained here for five months or longer.
there's some tours you'll see the tour kiosk go there there's a lot of cheap hotels in top of the yende and a lot of places just advertising bathrooms and showers i guess people camp outside nearby okay here's a stage i'm not sure what goes on there but i'm sure there's events held throughout the year okay here's the beautiful church or i should say basilica it was elevated to the status of basilica Well, most of the action happens here in the plaza and there's just one other street that has various businesses that are attractive to tourists. There are only about 13,000 people that live in Talpa de Allende and most are involved in farming or selling religious articles. So tourism is very important here for the local population although it must get very overwhelming at times. I recommend never to visit this place during religious festivals. It's located about an hour from Mascota by bus, which makes it a little over three hours from Puerto Vallarta. Okay, now we're going to visit the chapel. This is the chapel, Senor San Jose del Talpa. Very pretty inside. Let's go have a look. All right, the coast is clear. Talpa was founded in the year 1599 as a silver mining area. It didn't take long for the Spanish to find the silver in Mexico, as they only landed in 1492 in the Caribbean. Okay, this is a little side room here off of the church. has some very nice paintings. And they claim here, as you can see on the wall, in the year 1644 is when the miracle happened of Virgin Mary appearing. That is the reason why Talpa de Allende is such a favored religious destination for the Catholics. Well, for most people, tourists, visiting Talpa de Allende is something that you might go there and spend a couple hours and then leave. Take the bus in and then take the next, next bus out. There's not a lot of buses running in and out of the city, however. There is a small airstrip there, and there's uh, flights to Puerto Vallarta.
Okay, here we are on Main Street. Hotel Chulita. Que bonita. Here we have Hotel Plaza, which is next to the plaza. Coffee is grown in the hills near Talpa. However, it's not very well known or received. The main street is very nice, it has some boutiques, a restaurant or two. And it's very famous for making Hariachi sandals. Here's Donia Francisca, one of the few boutique hotels. Most of the hotels are cheapies. Here's Mike's Haracheria. Harachi sandals. They've made them here for 45 years, they claim. Let's go take a closer look. Wow. Oh, looks like they have some competition. Here's another Horacheria. Well, I'll admit this is not my most exciting presentation. When I have to visit sandal shops for content, <laughs> but there's actually not that much to see in Top of the Ende. It's the church in the plaza. And above, there's a beautiful monument. Here we are. All right, here we are at the Cristo Rey Monument. Let's go have a look. More stairs to climb. It was quite a hike up. But they had a nice view. All right, more stairs to climb. Well, here's the monument. I'm not quite sh sure what it's about, but it's very nice to look at. Inside this building behind it, there's a couple of uh, rooms full of flowers and religious articles. And then on the way down, we stop at this cute little chapel. Chapel di Cerrito. Left wide open. No one around. Incredible. Okay, here's an overview of Talpa di Allende from outside the chapel. 
It's a dry area. You can see not much vegetation in the mountains. Okay, one more panoramic look at the plaza. Before we say adios, Talpa de Ende. Goodbye, Talpa de Ende. Dios te bendigo.